Well, hello there, YouTube. It's Ro here. Thank you for visiting You Grow Ro. If this is your first time, I hope you'll consider subscribing at the end of this video. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you. Today, I'm going to go over what I got my order from Baker Creek. Bunch of seeds in there. I know you want to know what I got. I'll tell you what's all in here in just a second. Good old Baker Creek, I tell ya. Don't you just love their packaging? It's so pretty. Wow. Anywho, I had to go on there because I needed some seeds. Well, I didn't have to. I wanted some seeds. I found myself plum out of zinnia seeds. And we just can't have that now, can we? Happy growing. <laughs> So, looks like here I got myself uh, 12 packs of seeds for about 40 bucks. They are not cheap. I know, I know, but they got the stuff, man. So, first up here we got the Orange Jazz. Reason I got this is because my favorite tomato of all time, taste wise, is the pink jazz tomato. And I wanted to give the orange jazz tomato a try. I haven't had it yet. Let's see what it says on the back here. This beef steak from breeder Fred Hempel is fruity and juicy with a crisp texture, texture complex flavor. Large productive plants require staking. Later planting and drip irrigation are recommended to prevent blight and leaf septoria. Uh, I think they have that same description on the pink jazz tomato. So this, this might be very delicious. I'm excited for this. I'm going to see if I can squeeze this one in this year. Isn't it gorgeous though? The pink jazz is the same except it's pink. I wanted to give this a try. This is called Devil's Ear Lettuce. It reminds me of the way the deer tongue lettuce looks, and I like the deer tongue. Let's see what they see on the back here. 50 days, very large, spreading, loose leaf heads. Leaves are large, wavy, mar margined, and suffused in burgundy. It's nutty, crispy, and bitter-free flavor. Slow to bolt, and it stands a very long time in the garden. Wonderful news. Wonderful. We can easily hit 90 to 100 degrees here in Ohio, so I'm glad to hear this is slow to bolt. My reason for doing the order is right here. I was out of Queen Lime Red Zinnia Seeds. I grew a couple of plants last year, not as many as I would have liked, and I want to do some more, uh, way more this year, so I had to pick up some seeds. Aren't they just beautiful? And it says here, annual large flower Dahlia type Zinnia combines ruby tones with apple green resulting in ethereal, ethereal, excuse me, loveliness, full size. Aren't those so pretty? Had to get those. And while I was at it, I grabbed the Queen Lime Blush Aren't those gorgeous? Ugh. I can't wait to grow these together. It's going to be magical, you guys. Absolutely magical. Can't you just picture it? Ooh, so excited. I'm going to be starting those seeds today. Today is day before tax day, April 14th. I grabbed seeds for the evening primrose pink. I had zero interest in a primrose until I was at the grocery store and they had some there they were on sale for like three bucks I bought this thing back in probably November I still have it and it's still blooming it's gorgeous so now I'm like I want to grow primrose it's a wonderful way to have some beauty in the house all year round 
So I'm going to give that a try. Let's see what they say on the back here. It's perennial zone. I did not know that. Zones 5 through 9. Pink native wildflower with sumptuous fragrance. The 10 inch tall, 18 inch wide plants spread by a shallow root system of Stalins? Stolens? And should be planted with care as it will easily overtake your garden. Pollinator friendly. Who knew? I had no idea. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, so I'll put some outside as well. Great. You know I love my perennials. Here, I just planted some coleus myself. It was, it's their coleus mix, actually. And, uh, but they just came up. I love coleus, and I wanted to give this one a try. It's called the Coloca Rose. And look at those kind of curly, the round edge instead of being serrated edges. Deeply scalloped edges boost the octane of the brilliant, bright, tropical colors of hot pink centers with chartreuse that borders to the unique leaf margins. These plants have a compact and tidy 12 inch tall, full and bushy habit, making them ideal for any garden. For sure growing this this year, so I'll be starting these seeds as well as the zinnias and the primrose and the orange jazz. Probably that lettuce as well. <laughs> I got these because just looking at them, I think that's gorgeous. These are the Lila Lu Sang Carrots, 75 days. European variety with deep purple skin and vibrant orange center. Nutritious, great for kids' gardens, excellent in home gardens. Top choice for market gardeners looking to intrigue with an unusual new offering. I couldn't pass that up. So I'll be giving that a try. I got the Tommy Toe Tomato. Those look like uh, saladette sized tomatoes. It says here originated in the Ozarks in around 1900. Wow, vigorous plants tolerate heat and humidity and produces hundreds of one inch cherries. Old fashioned, full, complex flavor. Fabulous. Maybe I'll try this out in my green stock. I got the true black brandy wine. I have a red brandy wine and I wanted to get this one a try. I think there's a pink as well. I might be able to get that one in a trade because I think it's fairly common. But it says here, bred some time in the late 1920s by Dr. Harold E. Martin. Extra large fruit full of deep earthy sweet flavor that makes black tomatoes so popular. I've grown the black cherry and I loved it. It was so delicious. Um, so I'm, I'm sure this one will be just as good with the high anthocyanins. I also ran out of seeds for this. I was going to start this and I didn't have any seeds. This is the Lilac Bell. I've grown this before. It was very prolific for me for the last time I grew it, which was several years ago. A good three to five years ago. But I was thinking about it this year and didn't have any seeds. So I bought some. Mid-sized fruit is stunning medium lilac purple. Crispy, I'm sorry, crisp, juicy, and sweet. White ripens to red. Beautiful color. And I more often than not pick them at that color because it was the whole point of me getting them. Here's my freebie, the Yeticule Lettuce. I have another pack of this that they gave me for free. I haven't grown it yet. It says it's an ancient variety. It's been grown by urban farmers near modern day Istanbul, Turkey since Byzantine times. This variety has been recognized by the Ark of Taste as a beloved culinary symbol of Istanbul's centuries-old urban gardens. Remain type with long leaves, a crisp center, and white seeds. I never met a lettuce I didn't like, so cool. And then I got one other freebie. This is the Daytil Pepper. I think I've heard of this. This is a hot one. Uh, 100 days blazing hot. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, blunt little three and a half inch fruit ripens to bright orange, yellow, vicious heat, complex, fruity flavor. Oh my. That sounds dangerous, doesn't it? 
yikes so there it is guys there is my seed haul from Baker Creek lots of goodies lots of seeds to start uh, hope you got some ideas and I will talk to you guys on another day and another video until then happy growing